Good evening, and welcome to another one of my segments of A Verse a Day Keeps the Muslims Away. Today I have four little verses I would like to share with you that show the progression on Islam's take on alcohol. The very first one, Ayat Al-Baqarah, Surah Raqam. They ask you about intoxicants and games of chance, which is gambling. Say, in both of them, there is great sin and means of profit for men. And their sin is greater than their profit. And they ask you, as to what they should spend, say, what you can spare. Thus, does Allah make clear to you the communications that you may ponder? This very first verse right here that I'm sharing with you is a very logical verse, actually, where it shows that in both alcohol and gambling, there is good, there is bad, and how much you are spending on gambling, um, as much as you can, I mean, without going overboard and going broke. And essentially says, does Allah make it clear? Does Allah tell you exactly what to do? It even says right here that you may ponder. Allah's leaving it up to you to decide. Very good. Let's move on. And by the way, I'm going chronological order, so you don't think I'm jumping out, you know, out of context or anything. Next, next verse. Surat Nisa, ayah raqam 43. O oh, you who believe, do not go near prayer when you are intoxicated until you know well what you say, nor when you are under an obligation to perform a bath unless you are traveling on the road, until you have washed yourselves and if you are sick or on a journey or one of comes and blah blah blah, goes on to something that's irrelevant. Um, essentially, at this point here in this verse, it's asking you to not come to prayer when you're drunk until you know well what you say. So don't go stumbling, mumbling, not even knowing what to say when you go to prayers. That's essentially what it's trying to say. If you can't speak, if you're stumbling drunk, you're mumbling, you're slurring your speech, don't go pray. So again, there's, it's another verse in here that kind of shows it's okay to drink, but hey, don't do it when you go to pray. Moving on. Surah Al-Ma'idah, ayah raqam 95. O you who believe, do not kill game while you are on pilgrimage, and whoever among you, and I'm sorry, I'm reading the very wrong verse. I should be ayah raqam 90. O oh, you who believe, intoxicants and games of chance, sacrificing to stones, set up and dividing by arrows, are only an uncleanliness, the shaitan's work. Shun it, therefore, that you may be successful. Hmm. So now we're told that intoxicating beverages and games of chance that's supposed to be um, throwing a dice. Games of chance and gambling, that's all the work of the shaitan, which is the devil. So now, even though earlier we were given a quote saying, does Allah make clear this distinction? Not really, but now it says it only deals with a shaitan. Moving on. Surat Nahl, ayah raqam 67. And the fruits of the palms and the grapes you obtain from them intoxicate, intoxicating and goodly provisions. Most surely, there is a sign in this for people who ponder. So, in this verse, it's saying, it's telling you that you can make intoxicating beverages out of grapes, you know, modern day wine, and... <clears throat> And palms. I'm not sure what, what kind of um, palm drink you could make, but sure. But didn't we just say that that's the work of the shaitan? And wasn't this whole thing written by Allah? 
Okay, moving on. The very last verse is what you shall receive in heaven. And that is Surat al Mutafafin. Ayah Rukam 21, let's me now. Those who are drawn near to Allah shall witness it. Most surely the righteous shall be in bliss. On thrones they shall gaze. You will be recognized. You will recognize in their faces the, bright, the brightness of bliss. They are made to quaff of a pure drink that is sealed to others. The sealing of it with musk, and for that let the aspirers aspire. And the admixture of it is water of tasnim, a fountain from which drink they are drawn near to Allah. The end. And the very last verse is, once you go to heaven, this is your reward. You can have all these intoxicating beverages, a drink so good that it's sealed to all others, sealed to the unbelievers, and it will actually draw you closer to Allah. Even though back here it said, Intoxic intoxicating drinks are the works of the shaitan. But, you know, overall I have to agree with the Quran on this. Any kind of drink does bring you closer to Allah. Cheers.